So as we approach the three week mark since Hurricane Ida, some hard hit communities still don't have electricity. The widespread outages and miserable conditions sparked a demand for alternative sources of energy. And as Tan Trung reports, there is a renewed interest in solar power. When Hurricane Ida wiped out power in southeast Louisiana, it created deadly conditions. Of the 29 deaths in the state linked to the storm, more than half were from carbon monoxide poisoning due to generators or from heat exhaustion. We just don't need elderly people to die after a hurricane because of heat exhaustion ever again. This is a battery and that's the other battery. You can While many were desperate for electricity, Devin DeWolf was able to share it. He says the solar panels and batteries at his home in Bywater produced more than enough power for the 10 days he was off Entergy's grid. His front porch became an outlet to help his neighbors. To hook up Mr. Roy's oxygen machine, to hook up my other neighbor's refrigerator, I had a phone charging station outside, I had an ice machine that was working so I could give people cold drinks. It, it's a mess down here and, and I know Energy's working hard to, to get people back online, but you got pockets of, of people that haven't had power now for 17 days and we can go in and hang a battery and connect it to the solar system and they're gonna have power every day. These are two batteries. That Tom Nyhart is the CEO of Posigen, a solar energy company based in Metairie. He says calls to their office are nonstop following the hurricane. Nyhart believes the storm exposed the consequences of relying only on one source of power. We spent $280 million on a gas-fired plant in New Orleans East. It didn't come up for days. If we had spent one quarter of that on microgrids, on storage, on, uh, on renewables that, that get powered by the sun, you would have seen neighborhoods come back up so much quicker. This is Posigen's drone footage of some of its solar units that were in Ida's path. Of the 9,000 in the region, Nyhart says only 123 were damaged to a point that they couldn't come back online. Of course, there is a cost to all of this. Panel installations are going to be anywhere from $10,000 to $20,000 based upon the size of the house, the amount of power that you're going to use. Then there's the battery, which can be another $10,000. That can price some people out. But Devin DeWolf says now is the time to rethink our approach and investment in renewables. This is the type of thing that I think should be on every elder's household. Every restaurant in our city should have one so they can feed people, uh, not throw away all the food. And um, I honestly believe this should be something that the state of Louisiana pays for or the U.S. Treasury pays for. That may be a pricey proposition, but considering all the suffering we've seen, doing the same thing over and over can cost us in other ways. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Well, advocates for solar energy say the upfront cost is often offset by savings on utility bills. The head of Posigen says that his company is now in the process of donating or discounting batteries to low and moderate income families in Louisiana.